please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Stokes versus Kizart. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Miss Stokes, you say your efforts to be honest with the defendant about a brief fling with another man backfired. And now he's denying he fathered your four-year-old son, Decanner. You are fed up and intend to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Kizard, you claim your sources tell you that Miss Stokes' definition of one other man works only if you multiply that number by at least four. Yes, sir. You say both eyewitnesses and science will prove she is a liar and there is no way you are her child's father. Is yes. that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Stokes, how did your efforts to be honest backfire on you? Well, being open and honest, um, obviously, my family is at risk, my marriage... Um, he doesn't even sleep in the bed with me. So, yeah. <laughs> um, my child's life, his life, my life. So it's definitely... You can see right there, Yana, where he sleeps at. So this is where he sleeps? <laughs> that's not even his pillow, though, by the way. That's, that's our son's pillow that, that you take and you put on the floor. Now you say R. I'm just and so, point. really, I mean, our... this is not funny. When a man goes and sleeps on a wood floor... That means there's a real disconnect here. And this paternity secret, this paternity doubt is what's causing it. Yes. And you may not get to walk down that aisle. Yes, Your Honor. If, in fact, it is proven that Decanter is not Mr. Kizart's biological child. It's his child. So she said. So take me back to your relationship. How did you meet? We met at a friend's house. You know, we... He, can I take you out? I said, you know what, cool, you know... I'm not really a person that really likes to go out, but I love the library. The library is my favorite place to go. Uh, we meet up at the library, and right then and there, we said that we was going to make it official. We was together. We are idle. Okay? So, that's what I'm thinking. We're one. Come to find out, uh... <laughs> the females. Ask him how many females he, have, he was talking to on Facebook. I, so, you know what I do? I hack his phone. And what do you find? Him talking to female after female after female. I'm talking about, I'm going... You're not just going from one to the next. You know how you have the previous and the next one? No. You're going from page to page to page. Females. Nothing but females, Your Honor. So, we can see the relationship wasn't going well at this point. What happens in the relationship? We stayed together for, like, what, three, four years? We and... broke up in 2013. Okay, All right. So, two years. So, you stayed together, and then in 2013, you broke up. Yes. What happens during this breakup? He don't want to start talking to females. So, what I decided to do, I snapped. I blew up. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. If you... Look, you don't want to stop, then guess what? I'm finna show you, you got the right one today. I was... My, my heart is no joke. Your heart is no joke. I was basically... My time is precious, just like your time is precious. You let an insider come in and mess us up. Seriously? I Seriously? Was basically controlling my And so, Ms. Kizard, Mr. Kizard, you believe Ms. Stokes was dating other men while you were broken up? I have witnesses. I have my brother right here and multiple other witnesses. Well, let me hear from this witness. Please I mean, not, stand, I'm, sir. I'm, Step I'm, over to I'm the podium. The State your name for the record, sir. Uh, my name is Brandon Thompson. Mr. Thompson, in what relationship are you to Mr. Kizard? Man, man, uh, Mr. Kizar, we've been friends for years. It's like my brother. All right, you've been friends for years. Years with my and brother. And so, what do you know about Miss Stokes' actions? Nothing. That relates to this paternity question. Uh, there was a guy that she was a mess with around the same time that her and Trey had broken up. So, it, it only makes sense that, you know, you, you're not trying to go seek out this guy, but you're putting it all on my brother. And I don't want it coming out that, you know... His girl is messing around. So, was she dating any other men besides this one you just described? She had four. It was four other guys that I can tell of. Four, four. Other guys. Four. If you're gonna tell the truth, tell nothing but the truth. We in court, baby. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Excuse me. Your Honor, when I met him, I was not the argumentative type. I was the type that you say something wrong listen. and boop, boop, that's, that's the type listen, I was. I, Excuse me. No, I have listen, the floor. I, anyway, I, I, like I was, I was, I was confused about it, so I had to let him know. Excuse I, I me. Had to Excuse me. Know that he need, Excuse me. He needs to get that me. tested. Uh, Your Honor, like I was saying... Up. What happened to the library? <laughs> 
Those were one of the good times we were talking about. I, I, I mean, I feel like, wow. He don't want to go to the library. He don't go to the library with me. I we... go by myself or with my son. With mm-hmm. my son. I mean, it's like just like this thing went just... See? Out of the... Out of control. I, 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 I'm I not understanding. Appreciate... So the bottom line is, Mr. Thompson, it is your testimony. You saw, you saw witnessed... Personally. Miss Stokes involved with at least four other men. Yep. Thank you for your testimony. You may be seated. Which was So, Mr. Kizzer, tell me about when you found out Ms. Stokes was pregnant. She actually told me. When was was this? Were you broken up? up? Were you together? Yeah, we was broken up for, like, a few weeks. She came to me and told me it's a possibility that you might be the father because I'm pregnant. Of course, we were actually trying to conceive a child uh, for the whole time that we were together. That was... Oh, even when you were broken up, you were still trying to have a baby? We was trying to work things out, basically. Yes, we was. We was trying to work things out. He didn't wear a condom, so you was definitely trying to have a baby. Come on, now. We were trying to have a baby. Excuse me. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. It does not. For real. She told me, and at the same time when she told me about the pregnancy, she also told me that she was uh, entertaining other men, so. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Is that correct, Ms. Stokes? Yes. But it wasn't... It don't say men like it was more than one because it was only one. That's what you Excuse told me. Excuse me. The judge is talking to me, not you. Stay in your See? place. See? It's, Excuse it's... me. Like Ms. I, Stokes, I don't even have to touch the gavel with you. Man. You you, you just got Jeez, it all under I'm, control. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I've been through a lot of my life and I'm just not gonna let nobody do me no any type of way, say anything about me, or just make it seem like this is my child that's on the line right here. This is his life. Yeah. I'm his mother. Yeah. I'm his mother. Y'all making me out like some bad person? Boy, I gave my whole life to you. I have no family. I have nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody to depend on nothing. Yeah. My whole foundation is wrapped around him, my son, and myself. So if he go, guess what? I have to yeah. start all back over. Yeah. Excuse me. Y'all ain't nothing. A... You, you, you is full of it. Tell the truth. Tell yeah. the truth. Yeah. And you I let had an a decision to make. He's so, even Ms. Stokes, Ms. Stokes I wanted to give you an brother. opportunity to just get it out. Right. Because I realized it had been brewing. And everybody has their ways of expressing themselves and dealing with disappointment, and I knew you needed to get that out. But you're going to have to let me hear Mr. Kizart's side of the story as well, and I know it's upsetting. I can see how hurt you are. I can see it. So now, Mr. Kizart, I want to come to you. Okay. She tells you she's pregnant, but she also says I was with someone else. Okay, so that reason of doubt right there. And like I said, we were together for like almost 10 years. And you have multiple miscarriages. Multiple. And then you go out and sleep with somebody else and you get pregnant, have full term, and the child comes out and everything. We, and then we get back together. And we still, five years later, still no child. We've been trying to give him a brother or a sister. She's been taking uh, paternity pills and all that stuff to help you get pregnant and all, everything. Still no child. She's, she just had another miscarriage, like not even a month ago. So I have a diaphragm to show you right now. You have a diagram. Yeah, I brought a diaphragm. If you <laughs> I'd like to see. So you, like so see. somebody made you. You got a PhD. If you would like, <laughs> and to see you became that, a professor. If you would like to see, I would like. Boy, to show you, you are you hilarious. I would like yeah. you to show me the diagram you Claire brought. Clown. You are okay. full of it. Like I said, we've been together almost ten years. She had four miscarriages, as you can see, and then we broke up, and then all of a sudden, bam, she's pregnant. But it might not be mine. Now, four years later, you know what I'm saying? F- three more miscarriages. I don't even know if I can. Me and her can conceive us, like, have a successful child. That's why I want to find out if this is my child or not. So you don't believe you two are compatible? Or that you can make children together? I mean, that's my... I mean, all these reasons of doubt, I, I don't think so. All right, you may step back to the podium. Who made you a PhD? Who, when, when did you go get your I'm degree? Just stating the facts. When, what college is you teaching at? Please facts let me know. Don't lie. So I can go. Baby, Men that's not lie, facts. women lie, that's numbers not facts. don't lie. That's not Plain facts. Enough. That's not facts. It's, it's, it's people out here that had miscarriages and still, doctors tell them that you're, look, ma'am, you might not never be able to have a kid, you know? And you, it still happens. It still happens. So, you bringing up this chart is pretty much useless. Well, in fact, Mr. Kizard is not a doctor, but... Exactly. Because this situation is so important to this case, 
and this information is so compelling, I did call upon a doctor. And Jerome, I would like you to please escort Dr. Frida Fisher into the courtroom. I have some questions for her. Thank you. Go right up to the witness stand next to the judge. Now, this month, you making a chart like you got a multiplication chart or something. Like, who are you? I'm stating facts. You, you That's are. All. I'm stating right. facts. You're hilarious. Dr. Fisher, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Is it possible that a certain couple, that two particular people, can not be compatible enough to create a baby that would go full term? Absolutely. It is possible. Depending on the genetic makeup of the two people, it is possible that once their genes combine with each other, that it can lead to genetic abnormalities or chromosomal abnormalities. Mm. In fact, chromosomal abnormalities account for 50% of miscarriages. Even if the mother is a picture of health, even if the father is in perfect health, but it is possible that two people are not compatible. What are the medical odds that two people who've had this many miscarriages together can actually have a successful pregnancy? It does decrease the odds, but it is still possible that these two people can have a successful, viable pregnancy. But if you ask the question based purely on statistics and probability, then it would be more likely for the other partner to be the father. But again, I state, it is not impossible for the defendant to be the father, even with the other miscarriages. And so, in a very strange way, both the plaintiff and the defendant's testimonies are true and possible. Yes. Giving the medical research. Which, in a courtroom like this, equals doubt. Not to mention, every time we fight, she, give me my child, give me my child. You know what I'm saying? That type of stuff, just, like, okay, take your child. Obviously, it ain't mine. Reason why, reason why is because, yes, I'm the one carried him for 38 weeks, not you. So why would I Excuse pack me, not you. Clothes. I'm not, not the type you. Of person that's not take... you. He pack his stuff, Your Honor, and he will leave. He, all right, bad. You won't really spend time with him. If if a person was really a real man, you if you know you finna leave your girlfriend, yeah. wife, fiance, baby mama, whoever she is, and she's and she's the mother of your child. I'm gonna take all the time I can and spend time with that child, my child. You know, before I leave, and you not see me every single day. You not you not gonna wake up and see my face. Hey, good morning. Well, Daddy. it's clear. Listen, it Nothing. is clear you two aren't seeing eye to eye on much of anything right now, and that is the real scary thing that I see going on here. This exchange is very toxic and I can see the tears in your eyes, Ms. Stokes, and I can feel your energy across the room. I know this has been extremely difficult. Four years of this? And a person been talking about it to him and I'm only finding out it on my son's fourth birthday. So you imagine how I feel, just get out the hospital, just lose a baby, just been told I might be like, lose my life and, and move and move. My body ain't even healed. But and you know what news why, I can get is this. But this is why this moment is so important because we need the truth. We need it. We can't go on like this. With that said, I need you to take a deep breath for me, Miss Stokes. Just take a deep breath. It's gonna be all right. Either way, Jerome, let's have the envelope, please. (laughs) These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Stokes versus Kizart, when it comes to four-year-old Decanner Kizart, It has been determined by this court. Mr. Kizart, you are the father. Kiss it. Yes, we done. Don't do that. 
don't, 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 don't do that. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to see you, nothing. I'm cool on you and you. God bless you. Have a nice life. You I can see your I son whenever you want to. Right. Hit my cell. Listen. Listen. Look at me, Miss Stokes. You think I don't know what you've had to deal with? You think I don't understand? Baby, the miscarriages alone. You've just been through so much. And I just don't want you to get so hardened by the hurt that you just can't let anything in. We've gone from medical mystery to medical miracle. <laughs> and... <laughs> in about eight minutes. I mean, I get a chill. I just got a chill. We did. And I don't want you to miss out on the beauty of that because you're just so angry. I'm hurt. I know. Really hurt. We know. Despite the miscarriages, I'm glad I got one. Absolutely. But ultimately, I want you to understand, Ms. Stokes, in order to co-parent effectively, you are going to have to learn how to converse and communicate with Mr. Kizart in a positive way. Your son deserves that. Yes, he does. Okay? All right. I wish you all the very, very best. Court is adjourned. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling.